In this video, I will be silently installing PDF24 and I will use PSExec to execute the installation as a system account. And the main reason for that is that I want to ensure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. If you want more details about that, you can watch the video that I have here. And I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because I have few bits of information that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading PDF24 and I will use the link that I have here. That brings us to the download page for PDF24. I will click on this download button, it drags us down. And here we, we have few installation options. I will use the Windows 11 and Windows 10 one. And instead of EXE, I will select MSI because this is a bit more convenient one for us. And I will click on the download button. And it should start the download for us. Now I can go to my downloads folder and wait for my executable. And now we have our installation file. I will be performing the installation in a virtual machine. So I will right click on the file, click copy, go to VMware Workstation. And here I have a virtual machine prepared and I will paste in the file into the software folder. Also, as you can see here, I have my PSExec executable in the same folder. So the next step for us is to launch a command line. I will go to my start menu and here I will type CMD and click on run as administrator. Click yes. And the next step is to change our directory in our command line to the directory where we have our executables. For that, I will click here and copy the link. Then I will go to my command line and I will type CD paste in the link and if I type there we see our executables here also if I type who am I it is saying that I am admin user on this computer like I said I will be performing the installation as a system account so I will use ps exec to start another command line I will type ps exec dot exe and minus I for interactive and minus S for system account. And then we need to type the process that we want to start. In my case, it's another CMD. And I will agree with the license terms. Now we have new window, but if I type here, who am I? It is saying that I am anti-authority system. So basically everything that I'm doing in this window, I am doing it as a system account. Once more, we want to change the directory. So I'll type CD, paste in the directory, click enter. And if I do there once more, we see our executables here. Next step for us is to start the installation. For that, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using to install the software. And I'm starting this command with CMDC. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line. And this is especially nice when performing silent installation testing. Next, I'm providing the executable name. Then I'm using a switch quiet. Basically, this switch is the main switch that makes this installation a silent installation. Then I'm using a no restart switch. And here I am asking for the installer not to reboot my computer. And the parameter that I'm using also is all users equals one. This is a parameter that makes this installation a machine wide installation. And that means that all the users on that computer should be able to use the software. So I will copy this line, go to my, go back to my virtual machine and paste the line in this window and press enter. Now that the installation is done, we see a few more icons on our desktop. So I will click on PDF 24 launcher and it seems to work just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy df24 using other deployment tools such as group policy so like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one